Hello Libra, welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Libra, this is a collective love message for your sign. Someone rising in Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates uh, for your overall situation. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. What do we have for Libra? Okay. So we have So Libra, we are connecting here with someone who is quite anxious. They're coming with an energy of fear. It's like it might be a case that they actions. I kind of motivated by the fear, if I can say it that way. This is someone who is anxious. Who is stressing out over this connection and it's like they're trying to kind of listen to their intuition very strongly you have someone who is very attracted to you Libra but um, it's like I feel this person is afraid of rejection we have mutual energy adventure for some of you this is a new energy new person and it's like you know you're at the stage of kind of getting to know each other but i feel this person might be holding back it's like this person is operating from the place of fear that's what i wanted to say at the beginning we have energy of reach out when it comes to your energy so i feel that you want to be in touch with this person libra because adventure is a mutual energy this is like a full energy from tarot okay so it can indicate that this is a new person or it's like a new connection or it can indicate that you know if it's not a new situation it feels that there is a need to be more spontaneous to kind of to stop overthinking certain things to just sometimes maybe even act on the impulse and 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 kind of you know uh, be more creative regarding this whole whole uh relationship or connection but i feel that you want to be in touch with them with this reach out card you want and i also feel quite strongly that you want this person to kind of um be the first one who is reaching out to you maybe you are in that sort of dynamic with someone here libra and you feel like you are the one who is initiating this contact you are the one who is reaching out to them you know sending them a message hi hi how have you been what's you what's going on or something like this you know and you would like this person from time to time to to do the same thing for you mm -hmm. Overall energy, we have judgment, which is a decision. So it feels quite strongly here that for some of you, you are facing a dilemma or it's like you are facing simply a decision that you might feel that at some point you will have to kind of make a decision what to do with this connection. Because I feel that you want this person um, to be more spontaneous, to be it's like you want you want them to show you that they care okay let's take a look let's see libra let's see this person's energy could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards libra and this connection could you please show me this person's feelings and energy towards libra and this connection Ace of Swords. Six of Pentacles. 
I feel that you're dealing here with someone who's very methodical. It's like this person might be quite, um, let me think about the word, serious. King of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Show me this person's feelings. And energy towards Libra and this connection. Ten of Swords. Something here didn't work out that this person was really kind of uh, hoping for. Four of Pentacles. They are holding back. It's like they dream didn't manifest. It, it's like this person met with some sort of disappointment, and it's, and the thing is with this energy, it's like they, there is nothing here they can do to change it. They need to accept this, surrender to the circumstances. I see this person a little bit distracted. If, just to be kind of honest with you, Libra. Ace of Swords suggests that this person wants to talk. They want to clear the air with you. They like talking with you. They like your company. Six of Pe You didn't kill with someone who is very um, career orientated. Or they are working here towards their uh, independence. Or like a, uh, there's something here about security regarding finances. This is someone who's working towards stability. King of, yes, King of Pentacles suggests here that this person might be quite serious. I don't see them as, 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 a, as, a, as a person who, uh, you know, it's like a social butterfly or it's like a, you know, someone who is a, <laughs> who is, a, you know, who is kind of um, quite spontaneous. This is someone who's very methodical. It's like they are planning and then this is what I'm going to do. That's what I am getting. Three of Wands. This person wants to talk about certain situation though with you, you know, um, but with the Four of Pentacles, it's like they're holding back a lot. They are holding back. Obviously, this person is afraid of rejection, but but the thing is here that they need to give something. You know, it's like they need to show you that they care about you. They see expansion and growth regarding this connection with you. You know, they know that they can see it, but it's like it might be case that they are prioritizing at the moment their professional life. Something here regarding money. And it's very important for them or like a work related situation. But it feels that they came with some sort of delay or obstacle and something here didn't manifest the way they wanted. That dream come true didn't uh, uh, didn't come true essentially. Sorry for my broken English. And it feels like this person is, is not having a great time, but they are trying to keep it for themselves. They don't want to share it with anyone because I feel this person doesn't want to be seen as a failure. You have someone here who is very proud. You see, it's like they are focusing on something else. They don't want to talk about this. And I feel because of that attitude, that situation can really affecting this connection. Because I see you wanting to be in touch with them. I see you wanting to kind of, you know, to maybe share more with you. But it, it's like this person is closed off. You know, they are holding back. But they do want to talk with you. They do. But I don't feel that this person is giving you much at the moment. Libra. 
show me Libra's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection. The Fool, King of Wands, Ten of Cups, the Sun. You might be dealing with Aries. Okay. I have Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus, Gemini, Virgo. <laughs> judgment which we have the same energy and it's like i felt that it's your energy because um it's like you will feel that at some point you will have to make a decision regarding this connection and it's the judgment it's in your energy so yeah temperance you're protected you know if you've been wondering or kind of feeling in general you are protected this is a garden angel of tarot temperance is beautiful uh, I see you being very grounded, you know, at the same time trying to maintain balance, being calm, maybe even give this person a little bit of space. We have a page of pentacles and, uh, and the fool. I feel that you see this person momentarily as someone who might be quite childish and immature, the way they're handling this whole situation, irrespective of you know here the fact that they might be kind of presenting themselves as someone who is very serious and um, they have long-term plans you know they're taking things very seriously they are responsible but there is something here that you might feel that this person when it comes to maybe uh, the way they are um, kind of uh, expressing their feelings or like something to do with emotions you see them as someone who's quite immature and quite childish and i feel that you know for some of you might be getting that impression that this person really needs to level up or they really need to grow up and it can be that case irrespective of this person's age they can be 20 30 40 50 60. in this case age is just a number it's it's just a, this kind of attitude that you might be feeling this person is presenting regarding emotions and kind of how this person is handling connections or relationship you know we have this king of wands i feel that you kind of you are very attracted to them you see them as someone uh, who has this kind of natural x factor who can be very handsome very beautiful please take it how it resonates but very also ambitious mm -hmm. and then we have beautiful energy we have a ten of cups the sun and judgment it feels quite strongly here, Libra, that you want this person. Ten of Cups, I feel that you do want to be in a relationship with this person because you see a potential that at the end things can work out between the two of you. You know, I feel that you kind of develop feelings for this person. You love them and you feel that this person is your happily ever after with the Ten of Cups that this connection ha has that uh, potential to grow into something very profound based on mutual understanding and love. Ten of Cups with the sun, my gosh, this is beautiful energy. Very pure energy, energy of pure love and kind of dedication and that support. And it's just, I feel that this person, when things are great, they really make you happy. And that's why you kind of see that, oh my gosh, it can work out between the two of us. But this person has to um, start prioritizing this connection or, or at least giving a little bit more to it. We have judgment. Yeah. At some point, I feel that you might feel that you need to kind of make a decision what to do with the situation because if things won't change then you might feel that you are stuck in a certain situation right but judgment is also that announcement and i feel that you really want to talk with this person about what's going on you want to reach out to them and I feel that your intuition is spot on because what I am getting here, Libra, as a side message, additional message, we have eight of pentacles, the empress and 
Eight of Wands, you know that there is something here going on regarding their work-related situation. Eight of Pentacles, it's work. Work-related kind of, you know, area and, 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 and work-related, uh, oh gosh, everything, you know, because Eight of Pentacles represents work, working towards something, putting in effort. You know, this is very grounding energy, uh, earth energy. So I feel that, you know, your intuition is telling you that this is something indeed might be, uh, something has to, it, <laughs> sorry, this is my English, <laughs> broken English. You might feel that the reason why they're acting that way is because of, of, of the situation that might happen uh, regarding their work-related uh, matters. We have the Empress and Eight of Wands. Well, this is beautiful energy. Gosh, Libra. You are showing up here as a divine feminine energy. You might be divine feminine or you are dealing with divine feminine, but um, it's like I'm getting that energy of if this person was just willing to share more, I could help them so much. But it's like I really want to be in touch with them. I really want to uh, kind of... It's like I feel you want to give them hope. You want you you want you want to let them know that you are there for them if they only let you and you have so much to offer my gosh with the empress you are very abundant your energy it's so beautiful libra mm -hmm. And I feel that you really want to take action. Because you care. You care about this person. You really truly do. Let's see. Let's see. Could you please show me the outcome? Could you please show me the outcome? So we have seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles. There will be a progress regarding this whole situation. And strength, strongly your energy. Magician at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have Gemini, Virgo energy and Leo energy as well. Uh, I can tell you one thing here, Libra. This person is invested in this connection with the Seven of Pentacles. They are. They are. That's why they're coming with the Ace of Swords. They want to explain something here. I feel this person wants to explain why they might, you know, maybe recently this person, you've noticed that um, they kind of are not fully present. You know, there, there is there is something on their mind or maybe this person kind of distanced themselves a little bit from that connection or if there was a very intense um, communication between the two of you uh, you might feel that it's not that intense as it used to be but this person will reach out here they will talk they want to talk they want to explain something and and the reason why they want to explain and even bothered to explain because they are invested at the end of the day in this connection this is someone who, at the end of the day, see long term with you. On your side, we have strength, and I re and I like it a lot that we have this final card as a strength because it suggests here that um, things will get better between the two of you, and it's like your connection will only strengthen. Okay, I feel that you develop a very strong bond with this person and it is actually a mutual kind of energy but in the middle of this whole situation is this work related matter that might be an issue or it's like creating certain obstacles uh, with regards to communication but that will be you know 
you will overcome this whole situation you will because overall energy we have a magician it's like both of you manifesting a very very significant and positive change in this situation magician is here to let you know that you are able to achieve anything that you truly want absolutely everything you have this willpower uh, you you possess all the skills and tools to to kind of make this happen for you and for this connection and there is this kind of you know <laughs> uh, a force <laughs> behind the scenes that it's working on your behalf so you both of you because it's overall energy for this reading and manifesting irrespective of the situation you're manifesting a very positive change and yes at the moment the core of of difficulty in this connection might be a work-related situation uh, that it's happening here uh, in this person's life but uh, things will get better things will get better and it feels very strongly here that your connection uh, will only become stronger and you will overcome this this situation libra I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Libra, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.